All right, how you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to start a new trading challenge. Uh, I know I said it in my other videos that I was going to start uh, looking into opening an account with Oanda. So I did that and I figured while I do that, why not uh, show you guys basically how to grow a small trading account? All right, so just to test out their platform, I loaded up $100 into this account and uh, I'm going to show you guys basically how you can start growing a very small account. I mean, $100 is going to take a little bit, a uh, little two, three dollar profits here and there, but uh, it will grow and we will see some growth on that account. And I'm pretty sure anybody out there, like you can come up with $100 if you want to get into trading and it is possible to grow it. You got to be patient, of course, but I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I'm going to basically show you every day. Um, I might post it once a week. We'll see how that plays out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you little bits, little trades that I uh, that I do take the setups that I look for and things like that. Right. All right. So basically with Oanda here in Canada anyway, we only get a 50 to one leverage. All right. So basically the margin requirements, uh, the best ones that I'm going to get here are going to be the Aussie CAD the euro cad pound cad and new zealand cad all right so those are going to be a three percent margin requirement um awanda spreads aren't even that good to be honest like i got a two pip spread four pip spread like i don't know i, don't, <laughs> I really don't know if i'm going to stick with awanda the reason i wanted to go with awanda is because C CMC markets, they don't have a uh, performance tracker. Like um, so this here shows you your trading performance, which it's not going to show anything yet because I haven't done anything on this account. Uh, if it will even load, I don't know. But um, yeah, yeah, see, so currently have no trades. All right, so I haven't done anything with this account but they do have a nice performance tracker. Um, it does connect to my FX book as well, which CMC markets does not, unless you're trading off of MT4. I'm trading off a of Mac and I don't have like parallels or anything hooked up to my, my computer. So basically I'm stuck trading off, uh, their actual platform, CMC's platform, which doesn't connect to my FX book. They do not have a journaling uh, feature like Oanda does. And that's the main reason why I wanted to switch, right? But anyway, um, these spreads and the margin, they're, they're not terrible. I mean, I can deal with it. It's just, it's going to suck off a small account. It will. I'm not going to lie. All right. So if you are going to be starting with a small account, you may want to look at doing this with a different broker. That's that's up to you, really. But we're going to do it with Awanda because I need to test them out and I want to see what they're all about. All right. I'm going to test everything to do with them, their customer service. Um, so far, it's been OK. Getting my account set up took a minute. Um, they did apparently send me an email that they said they sent, but I didn't actually get no email. Um, when I went to go deposit money, it didn't work the first time for some reason. So I, I don't know what's going on with the Wanda, to be honest, but um, they seem to have good reviews online. I don't know. Um, they are a very popular broker, uh, especially in the United States. So we'll test them out. We'll see what happens. But anyway, um, that's all irrelevant for now. We'll see how that all plays out. All right, so NZD CAD, that one hit our take profit. Um, for some reason, it didn't actually hit my take profit. I had to close it manually. It didn't trigger the order. So I'm going to have to call customer service, um, maybe message them on the chat. I don't know. We're going to try to figure that out. I don't know why it didn't trigger it. But um, either way, I closed it manually uh, just above where my take profit was. So we got. A little bit extra anyway, so whatever. Um, as you can see, the Aussie CAD, it didn't hit our take profit. 
Um, I ended up closing this one manually because of this big rejection candle here. So I, as soon as this one closed, um, I did wait for the close just to make sure that it wasn't going to, within the last few seconds, maybe push its way back up. Um, I waited for the close. As soon as it closed, I closed it manually. All right. So that one I got out of, which luckily I did because we had a strong drop here. This one looks like it's going to come back down. Who knows? It might end up in the long, longer term, like later on today, maybe it might end up going back up. But I was only looking for a nice small move. Um, and then, um, so this is the account here. No trades open anymore. Both closed. Um, off that hundred dollars, I made six dollars and ninety one cents. So that's a seven percent almost gain in a couple hours. Not even. Um, what time is it now? Ten o'clock. I started trading roughly eight thirty. Hour and a half. I made seven percent. So you can just imagine if this was a bigger account, 7%, let's say $1,000 at $70 in an hour and a half, um, $10,000 account, that's $700. <laughs> like you could see how, like you could see the potential that the Forex market does have for you to earn some money, right? It just depends on the account that you have. This one here, I'm basically just showing you that if you don't have that capital to do that with, you can start with a hundred dollar account. You can make these gains, and as you go, your account's building, and you'll be trading with more, right? So a seven percent gain now off a hundred and seven dollar account is going to be slightly more than seven dollars, right? So every time it's going to continuously be more money for the same percentage gain, right? Does it make sense? Um, so yeah. Basically, uh, those are the two trades that I'm going to show you today. I may end up taking a couple more, but if I do, I'll, uh, I'll post those up in tomorrow's video or whatever, maybe later today. Who knows? Um, so it might end up being in this video, might end up being in the next one. But either way, that's basically uh, what you do. You just set your uh, targets where is a reasonable amount. I like to use the ATR. Um, that way you don't risk too much, but you are setting it far enough that swings don't get you taken out randomly, right? So if you're if you're not paying attention to that, you set your stop loss at a certain point. It's, it might be too close to where you got in. So yeah, one strong candle takes you right out and yeah, you're out of that trade now. But if you set it, just a little bit more than your average true range. Um, yeah, you should be okay. It should keep you in that trade as long as it's going in your direction. If it's not going in your direction, then there's nothing that really can do, right? It's <laughs> the, the ATR is not going to stop price from continuing in the direction that it wants to go, right? All right. So those are two trades I'm going to show you today. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button hit the bell too for notifications on next videos this weekend we are going to be looking at the double top and the double bottom pattern that uh thomas bulkowski looked at in his uh encyclopedia chart patterns that's the one we're going to be doing this weekend i will re release that either saturday or sunday i'm not 100 percent sure yet what day it's going to be but we will be releasing that for sure um, yeah, so if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment if uh, you want to know a little bit more about why I got into that trade, uh, why I didn't just let it run. You know, any questions you have, don't don't be afraid to leave me a comment below. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care.